Hi, this is Mr. Goma. In this video, we're gonna answer the question, why is oxygen, O2, a gas at room temperature, while water, H2O, is a liquid? So let's assume we've got super molecular vision and we can zoom in on the molecular structure of these two compounds. So on the left here, I've got water, H2O, and on the right, I'll put O2. And you'll notice I've drawn these with the solid black lines representing the covalent bonds. These are the shared pairs of electrons that are holding together the atoms in a single molecule. So you'll see these with the solid black lines. And the dotted red lines represent the IMFs. These are the intermolecular forces, the forces of, of attraction that are holding together separate molecules. Now, we know that if something were to boil to go into the gas phase, it's gonna be the IMFs that break before the covalent bonds because the IMFs are weaker attractions than the covalent bonds. So if the IMFs were the same strength in oxygen and in water, H2O and O2 would boil at exactly the same temperature. So at the same temperature, they would both be the same state of matter. But we know that's not the case. We know that at room temperature, H2O is a liquid while O2 is a gas. So let's go back and take a look at the IMFs that hold these compounds together. Well, we should know that H2O molecules are attracted by hydrogen bonds. Those are the strongest IMFs. While O2 molecules are attracted by London dispersion forces only. Those are the weakest IMFs. So what would it take more energy to pull apart? A strong IMF or a weak IMF? Well, clearly, it's gonna take more energy to pull apart a stronger IMF. So, what's gonna result here? Well, what's gonna happen is that H2O molecules, as we've seen, have stronger attractions for one another than O2 molecules. That's because H2O molecules have hydrogen bonding. Versus LDF only for O2. So therefore, more energy is required to separate the H2O molecules as compared to the O2 molecules. As a result, H2O will boil or vaporize at a higher temperature than O2. So if we were to summarize that, at room temperature, there is enough energy to break all the IMFs in O2, but there's not enough energy to break the IMFs in H2O. So that's why at room temperature, H2O water is going to be a liquid where the particles are still attracted to one another, while O2 is going to be a gas. I hope this helps.